Now, is Kathy Laurentano here? The young lady that was a retired state Constitution police? Constitution loving, Tea Party patriot. Unlike Scott Brown, I am not afraid to be seen here with you. I want to make a quick suggestion for our amusement and to make a statement that you email President Obama and thank him for bringing our country together again. <laughs> I'm Kathy Luritano from Salisbury, Connecticut, and I'm running to put Representative Roberta Willis of the 64th District out of business and the state of Connecticut back in business. We need to make it our job to save Connecticut from the progressive Democrat legislators who are determined to tax and spend our state into joblessness and bankruptcy. Tax and spend Democrats have controlled the state legislature for too long. In the last decade, they turned the year 2000's budget surplus of $240 million into the current two-year budget deficit of $8.6 billion. Connecticut's debt, just for unfunded state pension and retirement health care liabilities, is in excess of $61 billion and growing every year. This past year, our Democrat-controlled legislature increased state fees by 100%. Call them what you like, but the increases are simply taxes by a different name. The liberal progressives in control of our General Assembly are running Connecticut into a fiscal grave, destroying our once great Constitution state with a total disregard of the $17,500 debt burden they have inflicted on every man, woman, and child in this state. They can't get it through their heads. We cannot spend our way out of debt. We cannot tax our way into prosperity. Ultimately, someone has to pay that bill. Unless they are stopped, the Democrat Assembly will continue to add tax upon tax to fund their agenda to increase the size and cost of state government at the expense of individual working taxpayers, our families, our children and grandchildren, and the private sector. As the public sector grows, the private sector shrinks. Connecticut is losing employers and jobs to business-friendly states and other nations at a terrible rate. We must work relentlessly to open the eyes of our fellow citizens to the financial crisis that's facing our state. And we need to run the tax and spend liberals out of office while using fiscal responsibility to rebuild business in Connecticut. reached 9.1% in February, the highest unemployment in this state since 1976. Torrington, our fair city in the 64th district, has an unemployment rate of 11.9%. According to the Hartford Current, since March 2008, the state's economy lost over 85,000 jobs. That is nearly 5% of our employment base and the state continues to lose thousands more under this legislature. The future of Connecticut under liberal progressive Democrats is clear, death by taxation and job loss. This is the battle that we in Connecticut must win at the ballot box in November. The good people of the Constitution state have it within their power to turn the situation around in the November election. We are going to throw the tax and spend incumbent progressives out and set Connecticut back on the road to fiscal sanity and a balanced budget. I'd like to thank you all for coming today. Stay in this fight. Never give up. And God bless Connecticut and the USA. Thank you, Kathy.